So we can begin. <clears throat> Just take up a usual standing posture. We have nice shoulder width, generous stance, knees a little bit bent, back nice and straight, arms hanging down by the sides. And then all of the focus comes to the very core of the belly. The movement comes from deep inside the center of our belly. Just moving gently to one side and looking over the shoulder, moving gently to the other side, looking over the shoulder, just bit by bit. And then we release the back. We allow things to turn from the core. Knees stay relaxed, back nice and straight, turning from the belly, allowing the soft arms to curl around the body, tap gently on the sides, feeling the tap of your wrist on the small of the back, feeling the thump of your forearm gently onto the tummy. So today we're just going to continue with our Ming Jue meditation. So the idea of Ming Jue meditation is that um, we're talking about uh, a style of meditation developed by Dr. Pang. It's a, a way of relaxing the mind, a way of bringing ourselves into the very core of ourselves. So Ming Jue helps you to focus into the Shenji Palace. So normally um, I refer to Lower Dantian, which is the part we're turning now, right deep inside the belly. Middle Dantian, the part that sits deep inside your chest. And Upper Dantian, right in the center of your head. Ming Jue uses slightly different terms. They're the same thing but I think slightly older, more old fashioned Chinese terms. And so deep inside the, the head, you have what's called Shenji Palace. Shen being spirit, I suppose. And Shenji Palace, I always like the idea of uh, something like a, a Russian winter palace, you know, sort of dark snowy night, uh, a palace lit from inside with all the the beautiful colored windows and the light glowing out. And you sort of standing outside and looking at this amazing, or like a stained glass window seen from the outside at nighttime when it's lit inside. And so you kind of illuminate Shenji Palace deep inside your head and it allows this light to filter through the whole of your brain. So yes, at the head, we have Shenji Palace and then they call the middle one Hunyuan Palace. And Hunyuan represents the chi of everything, all the chi there is. So Hunyuan Palace sits in the middle of you. And down at the bottom is Mingmen Palace. And so we're tapping on the Mingmen Gate at the moment on the small of your back. Mingmen Gate is called the Gate of Destiny, <laughs> which I love the term, the Gate of Your Destiny, the small of the back here. And I always think that um, in sort of Chinese, well, actually in a lot of medieval castles and things like that, that the gate was actually a gate house. You know, it was a big building and it was filled with soldiers and it had the gate in it. And I think the idea of Ming Men is that it's also a kind of storage area as well. It sits there on the small of your back. Not just an entranceway through into the Ming Men Palace deep in the core of your body, but it's also its own reservoir as well. And there's a kind of an intimate connection between the two kidneys, which lie just above left and right and Ming Men Gate down below. And there's almost like a triangle formed on the small of your back by the base of the kidneys and Ming Men. 
And so we're just sort of stimulating that part of the bag. But also we think about filling the Ming Men gate with energy and that helps supply chi into your kidneys. But then of course we go through the Ming Men gate deep into the belly and we have Ming Men Palace. Ming Men Palace, lower Dan Tien. It depends on which text you look at. Sometimes they're in slightly different places, but anyway, it doesn't matter about that. That's mere didactics. We're just talking about the core of you and these kind of slightly more old fashioned terms. And so Ming Jue uh, relates to Shenji Palace in the head, this beautiful glowing bright palace. And then as we start our meditation, we actually say Shenji, and as you say, Shenji, that helps you to focus. As I mentioned before, um, we seem to have, you know, at least two voices. We have our deep voice in the belly and the sort of chest, Shenji, which is low, but doesn't seem to relate so much to the Shenji Palace. And if you go higher into your head voice, as it were, Shenji, it helps you to kind of actually physically vibrate or feel like you're vibrating the center of your brain. So we're gonna call the center of our brain, bring all of our attention in the same way that we're doing here. We're turning the waist and we're tapping on Ming Men gate and we're focusing everything on the core of the body. And so we're bringing our attention into Ming Men palace deep inside the core of you. Let's just move on to the second part of the exercise. Let's stretch a bit longer, go a bit slower. Look over our shoulders. Yeah, so this exercise and, you know, um, all of the sort of vocabulary around it, draw our attention to make ourselves centered in the depths of our belly for most of the time. But it's only when we get to doing an exercise like the Mingjue meditation that it actually brings us and centers us in our head and brings our attention deep inside our heads. So different things or different sounds, different exercises do different things in the body quite clearly. So a few more long opening turns, gently stretching out. And then we can allow the whole thing to slow, 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 and eventually come to a lovely stop. Let's gather some cheeks. So we draw the hands up, lifting up. And then we let the hands flow through from the head, deep into the chest, deep into the belly. Let the hands flow down and connect into the earth once more. So gathering in the old parlance, we're pouring the chi into Shenji Palace. Moving the chi into the Hunyuan Palace. And eventually settling the chi deep inside Ming Men Palace. And then we allow the hands to relax and the chi flows down the legs once more. Gather again. And pull. Draw the chi deep inside. Focus the chi deep into the belly. Allow the hands to relax and let the chi flow through. Okay, good. So let's go into our forward and back bend section. <clears throat> Gently lifting the hands slowly up, stretch up. Okay, so tipping over just the arms and the ears. Move on to the upper back, middle back, and lower back. Body just gently relaxes and hangs down. Softly extend down towards your toes and release in line with the roots of our toes and release. Heading towards our instep, so getting gradually deeper with each little bend and release. Back towards the heels and release. Let the body hang and relax. 
out, back of the neck, soften, relax. So to come upright, we just lift the tailbone to point up behind us into the blue sky. And then we swing the tailbone towards the front of the body and start to build up vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, bringing up the arms and the ears at the same speed. Brings us up to full stretch up. Our knees and hips drift forward and we can gently lean back. Up and gently lean back. Up and gently lean back. Up and back. Great. Bring the hands up into the blue sky. Let's curl down on the left hand side. Just gently open the right side of the body up. Down on the right hand side. Allow the left to open. On the left. And on the right. Draw the hands up into the blue sky, nice long stretch. Let's go through the process again. Soft knees, just tipping over arms and ears first. Rolling into the upper back, middle back lower back and let the whole thing settle, relax and sink. Back of the neck is soft and relaxed. First extension, heads down toward the toes. And release in line with the roots of our toes. And release to the insteps. And release back toward the heels. Release, relax, body just gently hangs here. Move the tailbone up behind, just gently push the tailbone towards the front, roll up the spine, arms and ears gently roll up together, stretch up into the blue sky. Soften the knees and the hips forward and you can gently lean the body backwards and up. Backwards and up. Back and up. One more time. Great. And then we do the side bends, gently layering down on the left hand side, opening the right up. Down on the right hand side, let the left open. On the left. And on the right. Good. Draw the hands up into the blue sky. Nice long stretch. So let's go through this process. Let's try and keep our legs straight this time. So if we lock the legs, it stretches the hamstrings. Arms and ears tip over. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Body relaxes down and hangs. Back of the neck soft and relaxed. Okay, great. First extension, heads down toward the toes. And release. In line with the roots of our toes. Release. Heading towards our insteps. And release. Heading back towards our heels, deep bend. Release and relax, body hang. Tailbone lifts up behind. Tailbone pushes to the front. Spine gently rolls up. Head, arms, and ears gently roll up. Stretch up into the blue sky. Drifting the knees and hips forward as you lean back. Stretching up. Gently back. Up. Gently back. Up. And gently back. Okay, hands up in the blue sky, nice long stretch. And curl down the left side of the body, gently opening the right. 
down on the right side. Gently opening the left. On the left. And on the right. Good, bring the hands up into the blue sky. Just run through this process one last time. Okay, so it's nice straight legs, knees locked back, head, arms and ears tip over. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Just relax down, back of the neck relaxes, whole body relaxes. Gently extension takes us towards our toes. And then release. In line with the roots of our toes. And release. Looking towards our insteps. Release. Back toward our heels. Relax, release, body hangs. Tailbone lifts up behind, tailbone pushes the front, spine rolls up, head, arms and ears gently roll up, stretching up into the blue sky. Left side of the body curls down, right side up. Right hand curls down, left side opens up. On the left. And on the right. Hands up in the blue sky. Nice stretch. Let's just release the hands very gently down the sides, drifting the hands down. And so we gather. Gather chi, lift chi up. Gently pour the chi down through the body. Moving the energy down deep inside the belly. And to the very core of us, and then let the hands flow. Let's go again. And pull. Gather. Or chi down. Draw the chi through the body, deep into the very core. And then we're going to bring our hands to the belly, gathering, lifting chi up. Gently pouring chi down. And this time we're going to focus the chi right into the center of the belly and just land the hands on there. Just let the hands settle there for a moment or two. Centered right in the core of you. It strikes me that we've done our Ming Jui meditation for two weeks as a standing meditation. Well, I much prefer a standing meditation, but there's also a different dynamic through a, a sitting meditation as well. So I think this week we can try doing Ming Jui sitting down. So if you just want to prepare yourself, if you wish to stand, you're more than welcome to. But also, sometimes it's interesting just to take the kind of pressure off the body, because sometimes the standing meditation can, um, can sort of disturb the body. It can bring, especially if you're not used to it, the standing meditation can really sort of um, bring you out of your mind sometimes. You can be in a very relaxed place and then suddenly your back starts to hurt and you think, oh, and then it draws you away from what you've been doing, it draws you away from the purpose of it. So perhaps today we could just try sitting and doing a Ming Jue meditation. So when we stand, I always give you the instruction, tuck the tailbone forwards, nice long straight spine. It's different for a sitting meditation. For a sitting meditation, we just let the lower back hollow. So we, um, Gently let the energy forward into our tummy. We still keep a nice straight spine, 
we still have our chin tucked slightly in, but it just feels like there's a slight, um, the concave, you know, where we stand, we try and get the lower back as straight as possible. But where we sit, the Ming Men moves forward. We feel like there's a slight kind of closing almost at the lower back. So just have your hands on your belly. Just feel your connection deep inside. If you're able to support yourself without leaning against the back of the chair, that's great. It doesn't really matter either way, but if you can, a perfect sitting posture would be in a kind of like a straight back chair with the wing men slightly forwards. Your knees are kind of right angles, 90 degrees. Your foot is flat on the floor. So if possible, not, you know, on tiptoes or with all the heels pressed down, just a nice even foot. People ask about eyes closed, eyes open. It depends on the steadiness of your practice. So sometimes if you're tired with your eyes closed, it can lead you to nod off. And sleeping during meditation is not uncommon, but it does indicate that your chi levels are very low. And so if you find yourself falling asleep, then maybe it's better to do standing meditation. If you find yourself falling asleep, perhaps it's better to have your eyes open, staring gently, softly, no fixed focus. And so when we have our eyes open, we imagine a point 20, 30 meters ahead of us on the ground, gently staring towards that. So you're not looking directly forward at something, you're not looking straight down at the ground, just a gentle gaze into the distance, soft focus, nothing catching your attention. And that will probably help you to stay awake if you're someone who tends to nod off. For me, it may appear that my eyes are closed, but they're not. I keep them two thirds closed. The eyelids rest down and most of my vision is obscured by the eyelids. Just a little sort of slot of light below. And so the idea of having your eye eyelids sort of partially open is about a balance of yin and yang energy. Some light flowing in, but no distraction. Some darkness so it has a little balance of yin and yang there. So you choose what you think is most fitting for you. Just settle, relax. The Eight Phrases of Qi, Dr. Pang's encapsulation of everything. I'll sing it for you this morning. Ting Tian Li Di Shin Song Yi Chong Hua Ji Le Ji Shin Chong Ma In Yambochi Shanjo Tai Kung Chen Yi Jauti Jo Shen Rong Rong Connect 
connecting down to the chi below, connecting up, up into the heavens above. Chi gathers deep inside you, allowing your whole body to relax. When the body relaxes, it's possible for your mind to calm. No difference between the inside and the outside. You can't feel where your skin ends and the chi begins, where the chi ends and your skin begins. It's because you are chi. There's no difference between the inside and the outside. We allow ourselves to gently become one with the chi field. Relaxing into the chi field. Scan gently through your body. See where you might want to deliver chi today. See what you might wish to heal with chi today. Illuminate that area with chi. Whatever it is you need, you can have. Allow this healing to take place. So we quieten our minds. Our minds hold these strong patterns built up over years. But as we start to let go of those patterns, we can allow the healing to take place. Those patterns were there, it seemed right at some part of our life. Very often, they're protections. Very often, they seem like the right thing to be doing. But we continue to do them for years and years afterwards. And so, we take away those layers. We peel away those layers. And when we do so, true healing can take place. Allow your mind to send chi deep into that area. Make it your intention to heal that today. No longer needs to be a problem. When we feel ourselves in this truly global nature, where our body is no longer distinct, different, where we find ourselves at one with each other, connected to the chi field. This is where real healing takes place. Out of our minds, quite literally out of our minds. Isn't it funny how we use it as such a, um, an insult you must be out of your mind. But when your mind becomes a, a difficult, tangled, broken place, the best thing to do is to get out of it, to leave it behind, to go beyond it. So now how would it be if you decided to put down all the stories that your mother and your father told you, your grandparents told you. How would it be if you decided to let go of the things that you'd invented for yourself? Parts of your character that you'd made so that other people could see. How would it be if you let go of your professional self? just for a little while. How would it be if you let go of yourself as a lover, as a partner, as a parent? How would it be if you let go of yourself as an ill person, as a patient, as a student, How would it be if you let go 
of your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs? How would it be if you let go of the patterns that society give to us? All of the rules, all of the regulations. Let go of the police and the politicians. Let go of state. Let go of religion. Let go of spiritual teachers. Let go of partners. Let go of parents and grandparents. Let go of children. Let go of the past. Let go of the future. Allow everything to break away and dissolve away. When my children were young, they used to buy these things, they, the toys that were called dinosaur eggs. And inside your dinosaur egg, you opened it up and it was all gooey kind of putty and you peeled it away. And eventually you'd find a dinosaur bones inside, like a real explorer. You'd peel away all of the layers and then inside you'd have a plastic dinosaur. Great fun for the children. This is what we're doing too. We're imagining what happens when you remove all of the layers that make up you. What happens when you remove all of the stories you've told about yourself over the years? The things that people reference you by. What happens when you remove all of your professional qualifications, the masks that you use to guide yourself? But also we define ourselves through our pain, through our suffering. What happens if we start to let go of those ideals? No longer pain no longer suffering, no longer ill, because they become, I suddenly had the image of a hot air balloon, but your hot air balloon is tethered to the ground. A thick cable that's called my illness is holding the balloon down. A thick cable that's called my beliefs is holding the balloon down. A thick cable, my illnesses, my stories, holding it down. Gently, one by one, we start to remove the vast metal pegs from the ground. The attachment of the balloon. Pull them out one by one. Releasing each strand, the balloon straining to take off. And eventually, when you unplug the last story, unhitch the last cable, the balloon starts to rise into the blue sky. Free of all of those earthly bands. What is it like when you finally let go, when you finally release, when it's just the pure truth of who you are? Allow yourself to float free in the blue sky, the perfect, pure version of you. How does it feel when you're no longer defining yourself? We no longer need to define ourselves. We can just become our true self, pure and perfect, happy and healthy, 
well, clear, new. So when we finally dissolve these layers, what is left? We find that it's just our pure consciousness. So many people talk about their experience of this pure consciousness moment. Where there appears to be nothing behind us. Just everything in front of us. In a literal sense, the past means nothing. And the future is just pure possibility. Possibility of a perfect healing. Possibility of rebuilding our lives how we wish them to be. But right now, just this pure you. And so scholars often point out that so many of the very old statues only have a face. The back behind is just flat. Nothing behind. In less complex times, I think this is how people felt. Just that they are seeing the illusion in front of them. But behind them, there is truly nothing at all. And you might say, well, when I glance in a mirror, I can see everything behind me. But the truth is you have to look forwards to a mirror in order to see behind us. And that is part of the illusion too. So here we are, just our beautiful pure selves, gazing gently out to what? Blue sky. Just softly into the distance. All of the things we left behind, not real, dissolved, gone. And now, just a pure version of you. Let's draw our attention to the centre of our heads. Just try and focus your consciousness inside the core of your brain. inside the Shenji Palace. We can actually say Shenji out loud, just to relax the center of the head, to relax our consciousness. Shenji. Breathing in. There's two more. Gentle breath in. Shanji. Feel the tone deep in the core of your head. Shanji. So 
Stay Shenji silently, but observe the subtle vibrations. I'll say it very quietly, you can say it in silence inside your head. This time. Gently observing the subtle vibration deep inside your head. This time I often think of an image like an observatory. Imagine the great door of an observatory opening up to the heaven and the sky. Imagine your head can do the same thing, gently opening up to the heavens, dissolving your head, allowing the heavens above to be there. Slowly allow your mind to merge with the heavens above. Relax your consciousness. Feel the subtle vibration of the entire universe. Empty, yet not empty. You completely merged with the universe. Merge with the universe. So let's slowly start to bring the universe back towards Shenji Palace. Imagine that you can bring the vastness of the universe into Shenji Palace, into your brain, into your sensory organs. Fill the whole of your head with this infinite chi. Dissolve gently into chi. Allow this chi to dissolve your neck. Down into your shoulders. 
Allow your shoulders to merge with the chi of the universe. Allow the chi of the universe to flow down your arms, to your elbows, to your forearms, to your hands, to your fingertips. Allowing your arms to merge with the chi of the universe. Gently illuminating your spine. The chi of the universe in every single vertebra, working gently down your spine, all the way down to the tip of the tailbone, illuminating your spine. And then we imagine the chi of the universe gently in the chest, lungs, heart, dissolving into chi, to the middle of the torso the stomach and the intestines, the spleen and the liver, the kidneys, dissolving into chi. Into the lower part of the body, below the kidneys, the Ming Men gate, down to the tailbone. The sexual organs, excretory organs, the lower intestines, everything dissolving into chi. Now into the hips, into the pelvis, into the thighs, working into the hips and pelvis and thighs, allowing them to dissolve into chi into the knees. Very often people have problems with their knees. If you let your knees gently dissolve, all of those problems will go away. Down into the calves, filling the calves with the chi. All the way down to the ankles and the Achilles tendon. Dissolve those into chi. Working into your ankles and your feet, to the tips of the toes, the soles of your feet. Just let everything dissolve into chi. So scan through your body, see if there's anything that didn't dissolve in that process. If there's anything else that needs an extra bit of dissolving. whole body dissolves into chi. Feel the pure awareness of the universe seeping through from your head into your arms, your spine and into your body, your hips into your legs, down to your feet. The pure universe in every cell of your body at the deepest of levels. Now we say shu. Shu. By saying shu, we make the inner space finer. Shu. Helps the inner space to merge better with the universe. Vibrating the inner space. Merging into the infinite chi of the universe. Shoo. 
inner space becomes pure. In a space, chi matches the vibration of the universe, chi. In a space, chi merges with the universal chi. Say Shu silently, deep inside, becomes more and more refined. Deep inside becomes more and more refined. Sure. Universe Chi is infinite and pure. Sure. Relax into the infinity of the universe. Sure. Relax into the infinity of the universe. Relax into the infinity of the universe. Sure. See yourself as total consciousness. See yourself as total consciousness. Sure. Only consciousness. Feel the moment before we say shu. Shu. Gently experiencing that moment before Shu arises. Shu. Experience that, experiencing that deep pregnant moment just before Shu arises. Sure. 
Feel the intention building before we say shoot. Now from your Ming Jue state, send information throughout your whole body. Now we've seen this pure moment before Shu. Allow it to infiltrate every cell of your body. Shu. Feel the reality of Shu consciousness in every cell of your body, healing every cell of your body. Shu. How about we imagine sending this pure consciousness moment to somebody else? There is no time, no space, pure consciousness. We're not sending healing, we're just sending purity of chi, energy, information to heal that person's life. So you don't have to be specific with what you send, better not to be. Just send you. As you say Shu, it purifies you and carries this wave of healing to someone else. Shu. Let the healing vibration of Shu pour through your body, pour through their body. We realize there is no difference. We are all one in consciousness. From that close crystal clear moment before we say Shu, we send this consciousness. Shu. Shu purifies us. 
Shoo. Moment before Shu heals us and heals them. Just a few more times. ourselves back to ourselves gently drawing back feeling our bodies feeling how healthy our bodies feel every cell in the body healthy every cell in the body vibrated all of the old patterns fallen away the opportunity the opportunity to bring back just the perfect pure healed version of you Feel the purity of this moment. Our bodies completely dissolved in chi. This perfect healing purity of consciousness of the universe flowing through every cell of our bodies, flowing through the bodies of the people we connect with. Just sit with that for a few minutes. Try to keep this state. Try to keep sending yourself healing like this all day long. There's a sensation that we occasionally feel when we blush. You can feel the blush almost goes through the whole of your body. Sometimes when we shiver, we feel the shiver go all the way through our body. And now it's the same kind of idea a flush of a healing all the way through our body, sending chi to every part. And today we try to recall that idea. We try to bring this healing wave, and flush it through the whole of the body. So keep that in mind. And now we slowly bring ourselves back to ourselves. Wherever your hands have wandered to, we can draw them back onto the body. We can just hold them on the belly. We've been out in the blue sky, out in the universe, out and dissolved. So it's important for us just to start to repopulate our body again, to come back into the chi body, and then to come back into the physical body, to start to feel our physicality, feeling from our toes all the way up our legs, feeling our spine and back, feeling our shoulders to our arms, 
chest, all through the torso, drawing up into the neck and head. Bring everything back, drawing back into the ceiling space. But now as a physical body, feeling your physical body. Just know at a very deep level the healing you've brought about penetrates deep inside. Every cell penetrates deep inside. Deep inside, total healing flowing through your body. Just know that you've started this extraordinary healing process. And that every cell of your body receives that information. The broadcast of good news you've put through your body, sending to every cell, allowing every cell to go back to normal daily mode. So sometimes our little cells get confused. They miss the instructions. And they go off and do their own thing. But now, we allow the blueprint of a healthy body to go through every cell, to remind every cell what it should be doing, to remind it that we no longer need it to be in a chaos state. We no longer need it to be panicking and doing something odd to protect. Because the whole body is now filled with chi and working well. All functions of the body are returning to perfect working order. So just feel that information throughout your body. We can turn three circles round lower dantian. So as we turn three circles around the belly, it really does draw us back inside our body, it really brings all the chi deep inside, heals and draws and brings everything into the core of you, builds up this amazing field. And then we take three circles in the opposite direction. And that just reminds our bodies, this is daily life, this game we have to play. We need to be completely present with everything going on, the body in a good physical state. And so as we sit here, we can just think about that idea of sending a wave of chi through the body, like a flush or a blush going through the body, like a shiver through your whole body. Allow that feeling to be transmitted down every nerve, through every cell, through your endocrine system, through all of the systems in your body. Allow the healing message to be heard by every cell, like a clarion call. Healing information pouring through the body. All functions of your body returning to perfect working order. All functions of your body, perfect working order. Put a big smile on your face. Just think about your Wei Chi layer. It's this lovely layer of Chi around your skin. It protects you, keeps you safe. It's like a barrier. And then around the body, a meter in front, below, back, left, right, up, down. This is your Chi body. Again, it protects you. It also connects you. So as you imagine yourself, this being of light, every cell in your body has received this good information. You in this lovely protective field or fields, safe, happy, well. Put a big smile on your face. Slowly open your eyes. You can move your arms, and move your legs, stretch out a little bit. Oh, let's say howl that together. So in this perfect soft state. Oh, I'm just going to make a little adjustment to my screen for a moment. Then we can say howl la. Very good. Okay, so hands up in the air. 
One, two. Ah. Voilà. One, two. Ah. Voilà. Last time. One, two. Ah. Voilà. So nice to have you all here today. We'll just take our right hand, curl it up, left hand down, pull the fingertips together, thumbs on top. Thank you very much for being here today. I hope you've really enjoyed your meditation. And please share this healing meditation with anybody who might need it. Let's send it around the globe. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful session. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.